Evening PB readers, Johnny Mac here, um, or at least it's evening at the time of making this uh, this video. Um, just wanted to uh, try something a little bit different and um, take you around my garage. Something in particular I wanted to just share with you guys um, uh, that's uh, been a regular feature in the magazine for a while now. Uh, but uh, so, uh, yes, my RGV 250. I've been in the magazine for a while, but um, it, uh, it's, it's reached a point in, its, uh, in, in the project now where it kind of feels like it's got to the end of chapter one. So I thought I'd have a quick run round the bike, uh, quickly recap on, on what's been going on with it and where I've got to and what I've done to it so far to get it to this stage. Um, so, um, yeah, without further ado, um, there's my Panagali, there's some race tax that are going to be in the next issue. So, to recap, four years ago, I bought a basket case, RGV250, literally in boxes. And uh, it was a bit of a mess, and I've spent that time pretty much exclusively um, just uh, getting uh, all the right bits, because there were a lot of wrong bits with it, bits missing, and all the rest of it. So, don't buy things on the internet when you're drunk. Bad idea. Well, as it's turned out, not too bad. So, here it is. It's a 1992 RGV 250N. Now, you can tell it's a 1992 because we have the banana swinging arm. Now, basically, I have been through this chassis with a fine tooth comb. And the, sh uh, the frame here has been... Vapor blasted on the swinging arm by a guy in Leicester, goes by the name of Hart Motors, Kieran. A uh, good guy, did a lovely job. And then, if I can find, here it is, then I used this stuff, one of those nano surface protection kits, to just put over the um, surface of the alloy. Um, so I don't mark it really and it stays stays fresh then Triple S did some powder coating for me they did the wheels here it's a black one by the way uh, and the yoke, top yoke there it is and the subframe and to put it all back together, I have been using stuff from the Suzuki Vintage Parts Program. So, for instance, all of these little nuts and bolts under here on the suspension linkage. Uh, where else have we got some? All the bearings. On the top there, here look. All brand new from the Suzuki uh, Vintage Parts Scheme. Very reasonable. Price, but um, there's something really satisfying about about in yeah when you've made all this nice, created this lovely finish on the frame, put it all back together with nice shiny new nuts and bolts. Bridgestone S20s on the wheels, and um, can't tell you what they're like. Obviously, you know, I've had the bike four years, and this is as close as it's got <laughs> to being. <laughs> chassis but what I have got now is a complete rolling chassis uh, ready for the next stage um, so the next stage is this pile of stuff here and all of this in the drawers so the engine is in there that one Big box down there, probably going to get that out soon, try and mount that up, offer that up to the chassis, see if that goes in, and we'll get into sort of part two of the project. Um, so there it is, my RGV, from a basket case four years ago, loads of bits that didn't uh, meet up, match up, um, and was pretty, pretty horrible, to something vaguely resembling a motorbike. I had to get these discs, uh, had 
to mend the forks, they were leaking. Actually, I had to get another yoke because the one that came with it, here it is, a snapped lug underneath. So I actually had to find another yoke and get the guys at Triple S to powder coat that black. So yeah, there we are. Hope you enjoyed the little look around. My RGV. Let us know what you think.